Hello students, welcome to Short of Sales Classes. So in today's video, we'll be solving questions from MA Economics 2012. So we are dealing with Hyderabad Central University paper. So first today we'll solve the question number 70. So in question number 70, it is given. If marginal cost is equals to this, is the marginal cost function of a firm where Q is the level of output and total variable cost is at this unit will be so we have to find the total variable cost where Q is equals to 10 so for this first we have to write down the marginal cost which is given by 2 minus 0 0.4 Q plus 3 Q square as you can see this is given in the equation marginal cost is this now TVC total variable cost at Q equals to 10 would be integration limit 0 to 10 to minus 0 0.4 Q plus 3 Q square DQ now by doing this we will get it to be 2 Q minus 0 0.2 Q square plus q cube 0 to 10 now if you put the value of this you will get the value to be equals to 20 minus 20 plus 1000 which is equals to 1000 units so we have found it to be 1000 units so for question number 70 option D is the right answer so what did we do here first we had to write down the marginal cost equation which was this now marginal cost equation at when you take integration of marginal cost equation when q is equals to 10 set 0 to 10 what happens is that you just integrated this and find the value of q to be equals to or sorry find the value of tvc to be equals to 1000 so in today's video we solve question number 70 the right answer is option d now we'll go to the next question which is question number 71 so in question number 71 it is asked India's current income tax rates have the following slabs 0 10 20 30 20 30 50 10 25 35 10 25 45 so for this option a is the right answer that is india's current income tax rate is of the following slab that is 20, 10 20 30 percent so for question number 71 option a is the right answer now we'll go to the next question which is question number 72 so in this question it is given the sum total of deviation of given set of observation from the arithmetic mean is given by these four options that is always 0 greater than 0 between 1 and 0 and none of the above so the sum total of deviation of given observation from arithmetic mean we know it to be always 0 so option a is the right answer for question number 72 now we'll go to question number 73 it is asked that NREGA program essentially aimed at providing these four options are given minimum livelihoods in rural areas and 35 kg of PDS to poor families minimum provision of 100 days of employment to anyone seeking work in rural area minimum provision of 100 days of employment to anyone seeking work in rural as well as an urban area and universal coverage of PDS of 35 kg and 100 days employment so for this option B is the right answer that is the NREGA program essentially aimed at providing minimum provision of 100 days of employment to anyone seeking work in rural area so for question number 73 option B is the right answer so for question number 73 option b is the right answer now we'll go to the question number 74 so the question number 74 goes like this 
According to Economy Survey, India's real GDP at factor cost in 2011 to 12 had registered a growth rate of these four options are given. So, according to Economic Survey, India's real GDP at factor cost in the year 2011 to 12 has registered a growth rate of 6.9%. So, it is 6.9% that is option D is the right answer that is according to Economic Survey, India's real GDP at factor cost in 2012 to 11 to 12 is accounted for 6.9 percent. Now we'll come to the question number 75. So question number 75 goes like this. The theory of creative destruction under capitalist development is proposed by these four options are given. So it, it would be Joseph Scumpetier. That is Scumpetier. What did he say? He basically postulated the theory of creative destruction under capitalist development. So he proposed this theory that is Joseph Scumpetier. So now we'll come to the next question, which is question number 76. Which policy is based on Washington consensus? We know out of this policy of liberalization, which is option D, is based from Washington consensus. For question number 76, option D is the right answer. That is, which policy is based on Washington consensus? It is the policy of liberalization. Now we'll come to the question number 77 and the last question for today's, sorry, no, this is not the last question, the la, last to last question of the today's video that is, for normal goods, Hicksian demand curve is flatter than Marshallian demand curve, Hicksian, Hicksian demand curve is steeper than Marshallian demand curve, Hicksian demand curve, we need not go further. So, for normal good, Hicksian demand curve is steeper than marginal Marshallian demand curve. So, for normal good, Hicksian demand curve is steeper, that is, this is steeper as compared to Marshallian demand curve because Hicksian demand curve is, is elasticity is less than the elasticity in case of Marshallian demand curve. Now, we will come to the last question of today's video, that is the question number 78. So in question number 78, it is asked that Chamberlain's theory of monopolistic competition assumes large number of sellers and buyers in the group. Products are differentiated, yet they are close substitute. Free entry and fee exist of firms in the group, all of the above. So we think option D is the right answer for this because there are large numbers of sellers and buyers in the group. All these three things are right. So, for question number 78, the right answer is option D. So, in today's video, we solved question number 70 until 78. So, I will write down the findings that we have found. For 71, the right answer was 1, A. For 72, it was A. For 73, it was B. For 74, it was D. For 75, it was D. For 76, it was D. For 77, it was B. For 78, it was D. So, I hope you guys have got it. If you guys still have any query or doubt regarding this question, you can simply WhatsApp me on this number, which is 9836-793076. Or you can also go to our website, which is www.showropsersclasses.com. There you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for MA Economics entrance exam for different universities. So thank you for watching this video. In the subsequent videos, we will solve other questions from the same question paper. So have a nice day ahead.